And many of you wanted to know more about Remy. We have five children, and I try to make time for each of them every day, especially our two youngest, Charlie, who's five. Charlie, how do you like gymnastics? Did you? No, not really. How come? And Remy, who's nine. She's special, and she needs special attention. Now tell me how you liked soccer today. Good. You loved it? Yes, I did. You did? did? I love these moments with my daughters. I love this time with them. Can I show you guys some pictures, Remy, of when you were born? I was um, just a regular pregnant woman like everybody else, and at 26 weeks, my water broke, and I went into labor. This is you, Remy, when you were just born, honey. Just tiny, tiny. She so black. You could pretty much see the blood through her skin. Remington was asphyxiated for 17 minutes, and... Uh, <sighs> And you were called a micro preemie because you were so small. I wish, I wish that, you know, Remy didn't have that start. And I wish she would have gotten the oxygen, but, but she's here and she's here for a reason. Mom, dad, and we'll write, you write Remy under Remy's. Oh. I guess if somebody said, who's your hero, my hero would be my daughter. I want beautiful and everybody loves me. Yes. You are very smart and very beautiful, and everybody loves you very, very much. Ronnie, how you doing down there? Uh, Take a sec. Uh, um, um, I... What's it like watching that? Okay, let me just take a breath here. No, Ronnie, take as much time as you want. Okay. On February 13th of this year, at the dinner table, Remington choked on a piece of steak. It collapsed both of her lungs. My daughter started to die in my arms. She turned completely blue. While I was giving her the Heimlich maneuver, she was like, uh, bag of sand. It was, I could, she was gone. I dropped her at my feet. I went into shock. My child was dying at my feet. I passed out and I woke up to Jordan giving me mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation. My lovely friend and housekeeper Adela had a heart attack while giving Remington CPR. Remington did not take one breath for 22 minutes. When the paramedics arrived, they thought she was dead. And then so did I. Unfortunately, I will never be able to forget that night. As long as I live. She had a faint pulse, and um, they got her to Lionsgate. Um, and they told me they had tried two instruments to remove the stake from Remington's lung, but they were not successful. I remember running into emergency without scrubs or anything, and I ran through the doors. There must have been 20 or more doctors, and I, I threw myself on her body, started kissing her face and her hair, I saying goodbye to my child. And uh, they escorted me back to the waiting room, and they said, we have one last try to remove the stake from Remington's lung. We're not successful. My child is not going home. What happened with Remy? <laughs> By the grace of the good Lord, they were successful. 
And the Remy is alive and well today. There are no words. She went into a coma and they had her on life support. Um, she was alive and she is today. Remington's home. Remington's home. Thank you.